Shalom family. Um, in, in my process of purging myself of all the all the all the shame and and, and the guilt and the sin that you know I've experienced and had up until the, up until this point, I, I was reflecting and you know I thought way back when around the time when I was in elementary school, I, I was engaging in some some homosexual kinds of behaviors and. You know, it's been weighing on me a lot recently. I was just reflecting on it and thinking that I want to, you know, kind of rid myself of this weight and, and, and maybe have it benefit somebody else who might have gone through like a similar experience or something, you know, but I, I don't remember exactly how old I was, but it was before the age of 10 when, you know, we were living in this community and you know, a few houses down, there was this friend um, that I would constantly play with. You know, I would go to his house, we would play with toys and whatnot, and, you know, we would play outside and whatnot. His name was Sean. And I found that, you know, it wasn't like... an immediate behavior that we started engaging in, but eventually, you know, when I would spend time at his house, I don't know what brought it on. I don't know why I would do something like that. And the reason I think it would be is because of demonic influence and um, I really do think that was the situation now that I look upon it and reflect upon it. But I was engaging in some oral behaviors with that, with that, with that, you know, with that boy and, and it was, it was wrong and I didn't, I didn't understand it was wrong. I didn't really know the Most High, I wasn't really taught about God and you know, after the fact that it happened and he told his father, I was kind of confounded. I, I didn't understand that I had done something wrong at that time because when he confronted me about it, I had nothing to say and, and I think in a way I knew it was wrong because I, we would always hide it and do it in secret. but. I don't know, something something just about some kind of spiritual ignorance that I had or some kind of I I'm I'm really don't understand what it was. What what would motivate me to do something like that? Because it's not like I had ever had any encounters with any homosexuals or I had been taught any kind of homosexual doctrine. But it was just there. And so, you know, I repented of it for like a a while ago. I've I've not I'm not condoning homosexuality and I don't condone homosexuality and I haven't engaged in any kind of such behavior since because straight afterward you know my parents were informed and you know they strictly corrected me on the issue but you know up until now they were the only ones who really knew about it and so I kind of just wanted to share my experience and just kind of share the shame that I was bearing so yeah I hope that somebody out there will hear and maybe know that there might be shame or there might be guilt or there might be sin that's in the past that you can repent of and that, you know, the Father can change you and, and, and improve you and forgive you of your past sins and your past shame. And that even it's okay to confide in those who are in the truth, your brethren, your sister, and who love and care for you and it's important to do so because you know when we walk on this walk we don't walk alone and so it's important to uphold each other and you know support each other so I just wanted to share um, peace blessings family Shalom